Hello, welcome back to Rowena's Curse. We've just found the diary of Lord Duncan, detailing the history of how uh, he had Lady Rowena put down the well. And uh, then the well room was cemented up. And uh, he presumed her dead. I don't know, I think she really is. Or at any rate, her ghost still haunts the place. We did get the well room key, uh, also known as Alastor's key. But I have no idea where the well room is. We do need to try and find the sacristy key, because apparently we need to, we do need to read uh, the book of Alastor, which was apparently in the sacristy. So that's one thing. Uh, obviously, we've still got a loot goal. We've still got uh, Lady Isabella out of the mansion if we can rescue her. Uh, we've got to find the Holy Sword so we can go through the portal to hell. We've got to find the key to the portal to hell, which uh, Alastor's. Oh, sorry, that's Alastor's key. This is the Weldon key. It's a different key. I believe Lady Rowena would have Alastor's key. I don't know. Who knows? So, where haven't I been? I haven't been in the sitting room, dining room, all this barracks. Uh, there's probably nothing there but loot, all the cooks and maids rooms, but uh, I might as well go and just uh, start by going through the rest of the house proper here. We I haven't been to the sacristy, but um, I'm going to need a key, so I'm going to find a key. I haven't been to the cemetery either, also going to need a key for that to find. I haven't been to the dungeon. Um, dungeon sounds like it's a place where something's gonna happen, right? It wouldn't be a dungeon otherwise. On the upper floor, oh, I never found the secret passage in the blue room, but I'm sure, or the switch for it, but I'm sure there was one there. Did find the secret passage in Rowena's room. That reminds me, I need to go back to the accident site and uh, get my lantern back. There's also a locked cupboard there I haven't explored, I haven't managed to get into, so I don't know what's in there, but. I'm sure that'll turn up at some point. Uh, the whole basement here is explored and I don't think there's anything more of interest in it. Never been to the dungeon. So, right, let's start with these rooms over here and then the dungeon. I'll start by going out here to this barracks because um, that's not far away. Where are we? This? We're, we're just outside the library, so yeah, that's just north and around here. Got rid of the guard who's at the front door here. Yeah, well, I'm here. Let's go visit the accident site and. Wait, is this the front gate? No. So let's get my angle out and back. Come on here. Let's not fall in. Thank you. I don't know how I can, like, I can't hold the lantern to, uh, you know, as I walk along, I just, it just plops down in midair and hovers. Exciting future tech. Right, well, there's still, uh, some. No, oh, there's no one here. Oh, there's a guard on top of the barracks. This job makes me jump. Ow! Ow! No one's no one here. That was bad. I didn't realise it was so bright up there somehow when it's not down here. 
Oh, all right, well, let's... Not good at all. Let's wait for this guy to turn around and then I'll knock him on the head and let the... Well, like, arch is busy. <clears throat> so I missed that first one. By a millimetre. Uh, I think I can't hide for long. I don't like you, Mr. Archer. Oh, who was this, by the way? This was Bill! I, go and... ah. I want to see if there's any loot on that roof, right? Otherwise, I don't really need to uh, deal with the Archer at all. Let's just notice. Explosive! Handle with care! Well. Can pick that up and use that. I'm sure that will become important. Uh, the note of the about the cemented up well house door said uh, that um, it would probably need an explosive to open. So there's my source of explosives. Right, everything is ready. We place the charges. This barrel of explosives and this fire arrow are the only ones remaining. Don't waste them this time. I know you like to use them for fireworks like used them last week, but we may need them in the future. Garth. We placed the charges. What charges? Hmm. Why do you keep fire arrows and flares right next to a barrel of explosive stuff? That's really unsafe. Oh uh, yeah, let's not turn that on. Well, I guess we can turn it on to see if there's anything else in here. Nope, just the explosives. Uh, that's useful to know. Got explosives there. You can come and hide in here too. Well, on the one hand, I do need to get up there, right? I was wondering if there was a crate I could stand on. Mm, I can't mantle that. Alright. Let's put it down carefully. I don't know, so can I get on that roof? Go slide on this roof. I have to wait till he's going away and then mantle up. And get him. All right, like now. All right. You are not gonna shoot me in the back anymore. All right. Uh, doesn't actually seem to be anything up here. There's a roof, but I can't mantle it. It's another lantern, but I can't pick it up. All right. Well, that explains why it was so bright up here, because of when. What's your name? Brad. Brad, I don't like you. You're too good a shot. Alright. Let's check the barracks proper. Anyone in here? Nope. Where's my Latin? Oh, there's a light switch. Let's use that instead. Oh, bread! I'll take that. Um, didn't give me any hit points, but that'll do. That'll do. Right, we've got 26.54 out of a 7,000 that we need. Uh, we've got a lot of loot to find. I wonder if most of it's down in those... Uh, Passages. Where does this take me? Uh, through. Towards the kitchen, I guess. Oh, wait, is this the garden key that I needed before from the basement? It is indeed. Alright. Basement map. I've got that key. Okay. So let's go if we can go easily to the kitchen here. And from the kitchen, should we have easy access to the dining room and the main and the other parts of the house I haven't been to. No sign of guards. Good. Let's leave that open. I might need a quick escape. Who knows? Ah, here's some more loot. 
I love it. They don't even lock away the valuables. Well, only the candlesticks. Alright, we're going from 26 to 32. There's another 600 there. How much over here? Oops. 36. So that's another thousand worth, actually. You know, it's not too bad. Turn the lights off. Nothing here by the fireplace, is there? Dining room. Oops, uh, sitting room. Happening with this fireplace? Nope. Everybody leaves the fires burning. Seems rather wasteful. Again, I'll leave doors open to make it easier to get around. Okay. So that's, this, that's these rooms done. Been there, been there, been there, been there. Uh, let's go to the Cooks and maids rooms, how do I get to them? There's a window there. That doesn't seem to be a doorway. I would have thought they would have had easy access to the kitchen at least, because uh, that's where the job takes place. Right, this is the front this is the front door. Oh there is somebody out there. Uh, oh yeah, that's the back door. I always get the two confused. For some reason, my head always says north is the front of the house, not south. So I haven't been out the front gate yet. Or even up these stairs. Or in this room. Nothing but a small person money, okay? And this hallway. Have we been in here? Yes, because this is the chapel. Okay. okay I'm all turned about now. Right, front hallway. Oh, you heard me. Whoops. Oh. That's right. <laughs> well, I uh, definitely worked them all up. That wasn't really my intention. Well, they're actually coming upstairs. Maybe I can get them out here and knock them out. Mistime that by a fraction. Yeah, chicky, chicky, chicky. Mm. Well, he's quieting down. Thought I heard another one inside, but uh, apparently not coming up here. Grant and Garth. Oh, look, Garth was the one who left that note regarding fireworks. I think I can't mantle that. Ah, it's blocked. Stop it getting on the roofs. It's a shame. Alright, there's two more guards by the front gate. At some point, we're going to have to get out by the front gate, but not just now. It wasn't my plan to draw them away from their posts so I can knock them out. That's just kind of the way it happened. Do look at the wrinkles in that rug there. Seven's 
be recommended. Aha, he's the other one I heard inside. We oh. somehow found himself stuck at the double doors. Which is interesting, that's a bug I've read about. Uh, in the uh, editor documentation, it talks about that. Thief 2 was apparently supposed to automatically stop that bug happening. It might not be the same bug, the bug was that they got stuck on double doors because they walk up to the middle because it's a closed bath, then they try to open one side and then the other side, and then they think they've opened both doors when in fact, because the doors are linked, they've shut them both again. And they end up just walking stuck in the door. And to stop that, the engine is supposed to be automatically placing a uh, repel path node right in the middle of the doorway. So right, right down here. Which means they shouldn't be trying to walk straight through the door, but instead through one side or the other. When they do that, then they only then they only frog one of the doors and can get through. Of course, unlike Garrett, Garrett, you know, Garrett opens doors and they get stuck in him like this, right? But when guards open doors, the doors just go right through them, so they don't have that problem. But uh, it's odd because uh, all the discussion of this problem I'd read about was in terms of being a problem for linked double doors, like these ones, in Thief 1 and not Thief 2. And yet I've never seen it happening for me in uh, Thief 1, only in these Thief 2 maps. Of course, most of the Thief 1 maps actually don't use linked double doors, possibly. They just avoided it for that reason. All right, is there anything under these stairs? No. All right, where was I going then? The goal was to get to the western side to try and find these rooms, but I guess I'm gonna go back through the kitchen to get there. And back outside to where, near where I started. So I'll do that. Ooh, what's that? Looks like a board covering some kind of hole, doesn't it? Can I switch? Might not be anything, of course. Uh, right, this room. I've never been into this room. I did come through these gates. Right, that's the uh, mess hall. But I never came in here, which is the, the servants' quarters, I think. We've got some tile floors, how nice. Well, that's nice, a yeah, remotely operated candle. Very fancy. Do you have any loot? I don't see any loot. Doesn't look likely. Got a side table here, actually. Ooh. There's a switch. Whoa, the whole bed moves. Who? Who's been hiding holding nuggets? By the bed. Wow, big silver nugget. That's valuable. Okay, well, there's only 4,000 loot. Do you know about that? Is that your retirement fund? I mean, that's a. This could be like several years worth of wages worth. That's like 400. I'm mean, not years worth, but. It's a lot of money. Alright. Don't bother you anymore. Anyone in here? Seems not. There has not been a moment of peace in this house since the day of the accident. First two of the maids suddenly vanished, then Lenny died, 
And now Lady Isabella is nowhere to be found. Even with all the guards present, no one seems to know what happened. It was almost impossible to find two other girls who were willing to work here. I pity these poor fools anyway. Even though we're well into spring, the old barracks are cold and damp. There is also a woman among the guards. We arranged a bed for her in the storeroom. As a side note, I lost my ring while I was making the bed. I'll have to remember the to tell the girl to search for it. I noticed that Nellie didn't come down for supper tonight. Maybe she wasn't feeling well. I'll have to go see her tomorrow. I must also remember to punish Lisette. She always leaves her bedroom window half open and the lights turned on when she gets changed at night. What a thing to do with all these men around. What a shameless girl. Now that explains why the guard was watching at the window there. So that's Lizette. Now he was whistling to herself just there. Lost my ring while I was making the bed in the storeroom. I'll have to go back to the storeroom. First, heal healing potion. I'll drink that. Something is very wrong with this chest. Um, yeah, these ones aren't meant to be locked, are they? It was animating, uh, using the same animation joint for the hidden, just the lock. Another secret? This was a whole passage. Oh, wow. Alright, does this join up with all the other passages? Probably does, right? Uh, let's go back to the storeroom. Just before I check that out. Before I forget, uh, we go through the kitchen. Let's get to the house. The storeroom's on the eastern side. Stop by the back door here. I should come through this way. There we are. So we knocked out this uh, lady guard who was sleeping here, but apparently someone lost their ring while making this bed. Should have found a ring on the floor somewhere. Don't think I don't think I already looked close enough to find a ring. Maybe I did. Can't remember. If I don't find it soon, I'll uh, just check uh, in the next break the uh, video I recorded to see if I already found this ring. Unfortunately, your loot doesn't actually show you what loot you collected, just the totals and the last item you picked up. Uh, I don't see a, a ring. She was talking about here, right? She was talking about here, not not Nelly's bed. I assume she was talking about here. All right. Let's assume, unless it's actually in the bed, right? Or the other side. Nothing there. Kind of in the bed, possible really with this bed. <laughs> I think the bill is right. If it was there, either I already got it or I'm blind, or it's a completely different bed that was being talked about. Let's go back and uh, see where that passage leads. Sure, I know right. it's going to lead down to another one of those locked doors with the uh, symbol on it. Quite sure of that. Yeah, while well, making the bed, it is the guard in the storeroom. Not, not a bed there, I'm sure. All right, let's see. <laughs> Where this passage goes. Oh, this one's got a ramp, not a ladder. Maybe it goes somewhere different. It's not as deep down as the others. Oh. 
A hole? Oh no, that has a switch. Okay, I thought, is this maybe the well room door that's cemented up? No, it's a passage to another openable door. Wait, is this, this is the basement. Right, okay, we've been here already. Yeah, that goes back into the house. Did I miss a switch here? Also, this looks like a door, doesn't it? There's a switch. Right, I did miss that switch. I wonder if this is a door facing west in the basement. It's basically here, right? So that goes through. That's probably not a door. Okay. Next. Um, which place we want to go is really... The dungeon, I guess. I think that's the next place I haven't been that I might be able to access. Don't have a key for the cemetery yet. Don't have a key for the sacristy yet. So the dungeon is accessed from... The eastern side. Near the chapel. Here, in fact. I wonder if they still use the dungeon much. Well, they're guarding it. And they are guarding every square inch of this place, so. Ooh. Does he turn around? I have to use another one arrow here. If it does turn around. Huh? What? That gives me a bit more space to work anyway. Come here, Orlando. The uh, second water arrow was a bit impromptu, but it's because I could hear the guard approaching and didn't think I'd be able to move the body in time. Xavier, how would you like to sleep on the rack? Uh, which way around? That windlass makes a nice pillow, does it not? Well, I've still got the Iron Maiden and a rack. It's a, I've got all that torture instruments here. Wait, where's my lantern? You know what? That looks like a bricked up doorway. That might be the old well. South of the dungeon. So is this the well room here? Is that where I need my explosives? That could well be unintended. Got some cells. Hopefully still unoccupied. Oh, someone was here recently. We have been living in terror since Lord Duncan became the master of this house. Yesterday I was sentenced to three days of imprisonment and thirty lashes because I stared at him too long. Now they are torturing Caleb to make him confess to stealing a little bag of flour. May God protect us. Right, that was a very old note from a few generations ago when Lord Duncan still ruled the place. I guess I haven't really used these cells since, but uh, the hells haven't cleaned out the bones from them. They threw Jervis into the well of despair. His moaning is keeping me awake. The poor boy. I hope he dies soon. I'll die too if they talk to me again. I'll beg the guard for mercy tomorrow. I'll offer him the little ring I've been hiding. That is, if I survive until tomorrow. Oh, you're hiding a ring somewhere, are you? Where would you be hiding it? There it is. Okay. You don't seem to have any need for it anymore. <laughs> Door's a bit broken. And here we have just a bare cell with nothing in it. Alright. I 
think we know where the old well room is, and I think that's got to be my next room, my next move. I don't have any way yet to find the sacristy, to go to the sacristy or the cemetery. Um, but I'll come back here with explosives. Uh, hmm, I'm going to be firing explosives off. I better make sure the guards are a safe distance. So probably not sitting on the right. Let's put them in the cells. Just for fun. I'm sure they'll appreciate the joke. You can join Caleb here. Alright, I'll be safe enough from an explosion here. Let's go find that uh, explosives that was over on the west side by the barracks. What's the quickest way there? It's all the way around there. Uh, let's go through the house and the dining room. Already got the fire arrow, yep, to set it off. I believe you can also use flares to set off those barrels. Not sure if that's a general thing or just, uh, I've certainly done that in some fan missions. Not sure if it's was scripted for that or whether it's a general purpose thing. Oh, that's not the right way. This way. I'll take that. Let us see what has been going on in this well room ever since Duncan put Jervis and Lady Rowena down there. Where am I going? Towards the chapel. Okay. This is a momentous moment. Let's hope this works. It suddenly went bang and sprayed spinny bits everywhere. What do you know? Ha! It lit the torch for me as well. The well room. Well, well. Now I need to be aware. I need to be on the lookout for traps because what Duncan's diary said, he's left little surprises for anyone in there. I only assume that means traps. Oh, of course, I need the well room door, not not lockpicks. Oh. Is that the surprise he means? Huh, I guess I'm not getting back out the way I came in, am I? It's a very old pagan room, to be honest, judging by these decorations. I don't see any sign of actual other traps here. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's a couple of unlit torches. I wonder if either of them are handles. Let's find out. Oh, there's another room behind there. Hmm. We can also go down the well by rope. Can we get out again? I don't know. Let's let's save and find out. <laughs> There's a pagan ritual thing. Um, I'm at the end of the rope here. If I drop down any further, I don't think I can get back out again. But I want to read that note. I guess I did save. I can always reload. 
Let's hope somehow I'll be able to get back out. <laughs> what does it say? Damn it all. Duncan threw us in this cursed well and now we are just sitting here waiting to die. Alongside the remains of those who died before us. Jervis is lying beside me, his legs broken. His muttering is becoming more and more faint. Why must I die this way? Why am I to blame? What am I? A rapist? A thief? A ferocious murderer? No, I never hurt anyone in my whole life. My only fault was being unfaithful to a husband who hated me. I only wish to find a bit of happiness in the arms of another man. Curse you, father, for having obliged me to marry this man. Curse you, Duncan, for making me suffer like this. Curse the woman who will ever be able to love you. Curse all your descendants. But I will not die. My hatred will keep me alive. Jervis died in my arms three days ago. The poor man. I don't know if I really loved him, but he was a tender and passionate lover. I had to move away from his corpse. Its smell had become unbearable. I think I may have lost my key around there, but it doesn't matter, because I will not need it anymore. I'm not going anywhere. I'm feeling much weaker. I can hardly stand. How many days have passed since then? Duncan is no longer coming to watch me. The candles he used to drop down here are almost extinguished. And then, darkness. Death. I don't want to die. I know all the secrets of this house, but there's no way to get out of this well. If I only could fly, if there was a way, maybe, maybe, I think I remember something. My mother showed me the way before dying. My soul will be damned, but I will survive. All I need are three candles and something to draw the magic symbol. Prince of Darkness, Lord of the Damned, I invoke you. Make me survive. Give me the eternal life you promised to your followers, and I will be your faithful servant for all eternity. Let me have my revenge on my enemies. I will drink their blood, I will devour their hearts, and I will give you their souls. My lord, make this spell successful. Build me a stairway of light to get out of this well of darkness. Acta Beleni Kvertos Zalenda. So she got out. Using her mother's magic. That's a key. There is a key. It's for winner's key. I guess that's Jervis, poor fellow. And the rest other bodies. So, um. That rope is definitely far too high up for me to reach. I wonder if I can get out the same way Lady Rowena did. Yes, indeed. Well, what do you know? <laughs> and I guess you left this way. So oh, she didn't die, but became a vengeful servant of darkness. Oh, I guess I haven't been down. This is another one of those secret passages, but I guess I haven't been down this one before. Right? Thank you. Where does this one go? So switch. Pick it? Can't pick it. Oh, I guess we can try Rowena's key, right? No, if that unlocked it, she would have. Huh. If that's the key for her, how come she left it in the well? Oh well. It is the right key. What room is this? This is an entirely new room. Look at that book in a minute. First thing first, is there any loot? Garrett is a thief first, investigator second. There is, there's another ring. And a chair. And a rosary. Interesting. 
All right, what's the book say? In this book, I'm going to report about the events which happened inside Lord Bafford's manor in the year of the Builder 937. Strange things were happening at that time. About a dozen girls had mysteriously disappeared. People were frightened. It was rumoured that a werewolf was wandering about the woods which surround Lord Bafford's estate. Suddenly one night, Lord Bafford came to see me in great secrecy. I didn't know he was back. He had moved to town more than a year before, and there he got married for the second time. They said that it was just like him to get his first wife killed because of her treachery. That night, however, he looked like a poor man struck with terror. Rowena is still alive. She took my wife and she's going to kill her, he said. It's not a ghost that I've seen. It was Rowena in the flesh. She's back to revenge herself. She dragged my wife away and I could do nothing to stop her. She seems to be endowed with strange powers. She said that she will kill my wife tomorrow night. I implore you to help me. Maybe you can stop her with your magic. It was difficult to believe him. I had to verify personally, so the next night I went to Lord Bafford's mansion. As soon as I arrived, he took me to the garden. There was a huge statue of the trickster in the middle of it, and Lord Bafford had discovered a secret passage which opened at its base. We advanced in dark corridors in what seemed a descent to hell. As we arrived in an open space, we saw a terrifying being coming towards us with a menacing look. I tried to hit him with a magic bolt, but his only answer was a devilish laughter which made our blood run cold. Immediately afterwards, we were surrounded by a group of demons, and we could hardly avoid their fury by taking shelter in a narrow tunnel nearby. Shuddering with fear, we went right down the tunnel, and at its exit, we were standing on a sort of footbridge, which ran all around above a great hall. Below us, just in the centre of the hall, there was an altar, and Lord Bafford's wife was lying on it. She was still alive, and she was not tied up. She just lay there, with her eyes wide open, as if a spell could prevent her from moving. The scene was lit by the light of the torches set all around, and by the light of the moon which poured through a large hole above the altar. Rowena was there, standing in front of the altar with a dagger in her hand. All of a sudden, Rowena raised the dagger and thrust it into the breast of the woman, extracting her still palpitating heart, and then... Oh, I just can't tell it. I still have in my eyes the horror of what I have seen. Many hours passed after Rowena was gone before we took the courage to leave our hideout. With our great surprise, we saw that the demons had fallen asleep on the floor. So when we found Rowena asleep too in the little room next to the sacrifice hall, I told Lord Bafford that that was the right moment to kill her. But he said that it was impossible. She seemed to have become invulnerable. Next time it will be my turn, he said. And then she will kill my son. I beg you to help me. There must be a way to stop her. As soon as I returned home, I went to the library. I remembered there was a treatise by Brother Homer about the undead. I searched for some information, and that's what I found. These creatures are similar to the undead, but it would be incorrect to call them zombies, because in fact they have never died. Generally they are people who consecrated themselves to the evil one in order to escape death. It has been reported warriors surrounded by enemies and near to defeat, or prisoners condemned to death who refused to accept their fate, and came to that evil agreement. They are almost immortal. But to preserve their appearance, they have to sacrifice young victims every first full moon night in order to eat their hearts and drink their blood. They live surrounded by demons generated by their own minds who protect them. They seem to be invulnerable, but because of their unholy nature, a holy sword could damage or even kill them. So that was what Rowena had become. How could I defeat her? I had no idea of where I could find a holy sword, and there was no time to make a search. However, Suddenly into my head came the idea to use the seal of the sleeper. If we could put it on her breast while she was asleep, her sleep would become as deep as death itself. There was no time to waste, so the day after I returned to Lord Bufford. The day before, during our escape, we had discovered a secret passage which led straight into Rowena's room. We had to wait until she had fallen asleep, then I went to her and put the seal on her breast. After that, we had to transport her into the underground caverns. If I was right, the demons had to be asleep too, and so it was. We left Rowena in the little room where we had seen her the day before. Thanks to the Builder, finally we got rid of that evil being. She would sleep forever, unless someone removes the seal from her breast. To be safe, at my suggestion, Lord Bafford closed the entire area with a huge gate. I myself put the key of the gate in a hiding place in the library, together with an admonition for the one who will find it. I hope that at that time someone will have found the holy sword to definitively eliminate Rowena. Alastor, 
High Priest of the Lurkul Hama Temple. We found the last Oz book. Uh, Rowena has transformed into a demon. Find the Holy Sword and kill her. Should we? This is a good question, right? She's been leaving notes for us, after all. Uh, where's the one? No? Discover what has been my destiny and you'll find my key. Well, okay. I found her key. Do I need to kill her or is there some way to free her from this uh, thing? I doubt it. But, um, I guess we'll have to do what the objectives say. So I guess this is the sacristy. Do I have the key? What keys do I have? Ah, Rowena's key must be the sacristy key. Oh! Another note for us. Ah, oh, thank you, Rowena. One. Mm, better check my map. Blue is the path of water. Yellow is the path of earth. Red is the path of fire. White is the path of air. There's no doubt talking about the uh, blue, yellow, red, and white rooms. But what is this? Path of fire, path of water, path of air, path of earth. These four rooms all have secret passages to the room to the area below, right? Well, well. Uh, I ha don't know if I've been in that chamber yet. That might just be by the red room. All right, so we have been here now, and we've been to these rooms. Uh, basically, the cemetery is the only place I have not yet explored. Been through the dungeon. That was the well room indeed. I don't think I can get back in there now. Well, Rowena's giving us clues. Does she want us? Well, she wants us to face her, I guess. With the holy sword or without? Does she want to die at this point? Upstairs. Oh, we've got a painting here of Lord Duncan. And here, grandmother. I didn't notice these uh, larks before. Do any of the others have them? No. Blue is the path of water. Let's go to the blue room. Blue room is southwest. That's the red room. Southwest, not southeast, you doofus. Can read this? Yes. Oh, this is Percival. Poor fellow. He uh, is not going to marry Lupita. So, how do we get in there? Do I need to get in there? Clearly that's hiding another secret passage. So, and I looked for the a switch before and didn't find one. But I'm very bad at finding these switches, especially when they're that tiny. I have missed several not just in this uh, mission, but in many missions. I've looked around all this before. Oh. That's the 
path of water down behind there. Well, I don't know what to do with that information. Yellow is the path of Earth. Well, I, know the, I know where the passage is in the yellow room. Found it before. And the switch was right next to it, right? The switch wasn't well hidden. Again, this game doesn't have... So far, this mission doesn't have, like, switches hidden halfway across the room for a door right next to them. What does it mean? The path of Earth. So there's going to be four locked doors like this. What do I mean, path, path of Earth? Can I open it with a moss arrow? That doesn't make sense. Uh, certainly, I don't have any more fire arrows for the path of fire, and I don't have any, no gas arrows at all. Does Rowena's key open this? It does. Okay, well, I can certainly continue then. It's a ladder. Broken chest with a uh, broadhead arrow in it. Way down. Let's see what we have down here. I'm guessing these. Oh, oh no! I thought the ladder just ended. It was just uh, blending into the background. I thought I'd have to drop and not be able to get back. Sounds like a frog beast. There's a frog beast, look at it there. I think it will have to go. Oh, uh, um. Shite, that's a tree beast. Oh. There's another frog beast as well. Passage in the middle of that thing. Where's that lead? Oh, I see, it just goes under. Okay. There's another frog beast over there. Oh, this passage is on three sides of this place. Keep it occupied. So we can go south, west, south, north, or west. Let's go through the south door while the tree beast is occupied. No, it's not a door, it's just a passage to a switch. I'm guessing the frog beast is behind the rock there. Yep. Alright, let's try this one. is uh, quite tense because I do not like tree beasts and they do not like me. Let's see if we can lure it down the southern end here. Uh, Shit, it's mad now.
not going to the sound. That's frustrating. I need to. I need to open that. So pretending to be a tree again. Is it? Is it calmed down? I have thirty-two broadheads. Can I actually? Deal with it. Oh, you saw me here. Gonna get his attention, isn't it? Surely. No? Alright, well, if it's busy over there, I should go get the switch. Okay, well, Mr. Tree Beast, you uh, don't have to worry. The earth key. I guess we're going to need all four keys then. Alright, well, time to say goodbye to Mr. Tree Beast and his froggy friends. Whew. I do like how you can actually get through the entire uh, <laughs> Trail of Blood mission in Thief 2, which is the one which introduces the Tree Beasts. In fact, the only mission in the original game that has Tree Beasts. You can get through that entire mission without ever even knowing that they are if you don't actually go too close to them. If you're not exploring off the beaten path a lot, you might just miss them. I was watching a Let's Player play Thief 2 for the first time recently and they just went straight through. They never met a tree beast. I was just like waiting for them to discover the tree beast, for the tree beast to come alive when they weren't expecting it, you know, from its tree form and wake up. Um, and they never did, and I was so disappointed. But that was, uh, yes, you know. But that's because I can't stand them. And, um,. Oh well, I've had to... I guess it's karma getting back to me now that I've had to deal with them. Alright, red is the path of fire. Did we find the uh, sick passage here? We did. That's just a two ladder one. Interesting, we still haven't been to the cemetery. Right, where's Rowan's key? have a chest of useful goods for us? No. Okay. Well, it's been an hour now, and I'm going to end the episode here. And uh, I will see you next time for the Path of Fire.